hello it's me I'm back again didn't think I would be but here I am uh, third time on Roaccutane now I went back to the dermatologist yesterday who said that it's really uncommon for people to get bad skin after two courses of Roaccutane but here I am living to tell the tale <laughs> fun 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 um, yeah it's got to a point where I just this is actually really good at the moment um, and I don't know what it is that triggers it, like when I'm healthy, when I am not eating dairy, if I use different products on my skin, like I can't seem to figure out what it is that makes the difference between it being good and bad. But I do know that Roaccutane works, even if it is only a short term solution for me. Uh, they have sent me, well, they've booked me in to do an ultrasound to see if I have polycystic ovaries because I think there may be an underlying issue of why this keeps happening. Um, but I know that there are a lot of people that found my videos last time very useful so I thought I would bear all again. Um, I'll put in some pictures of how my skin actually looked. Um, I'll show you, these are from, this is now. I don't know when you're watching this video, but this is now uh, the very beginning of January 2018. I will show you some pictures from the summer of 2017. Um, when my skin, you know, I'm quite good at hiding what's on my face, I think, because a lot of this is like flat um, scarring. But there have been, <clears throat> most of the time, this cystic kind of lumps and bumps and that is not easy to cover up at all. And I've been really getting them down my neck this time. Um, they decided to start me on 30 milligrams, so I usually start on 20, but they said seeing as I've had the medication before and um, they know that I can cope with it. I'm going straight on to 30. They now believe that um, the higher dose, the, the higher of milligrams you have in your system, the quicker it can get done. Um, so each time I've done Maracatane, they've changed the way that they do it. Last time they did it for each kilogram of your body weight, you would have one milligram of um, the Roaccutane and you would lead up to that. So I did one month at 20, then 30, 40, 50, 60. Um, now, I don't remember the equation, but uh, it was something, she worked out some, somehow that I needed a certain amount in my system throughout the whole course, so it was like 8,000 and something milligrams I needed. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, day one. It is day two, I know I've got my makeup on, but I just wanted to show you uh, how shiny I am after a day. I'd say I'm probably not as shiny as I normally am and I don't even know if it's picking it up in this camera. Um, but this is with me powdering throughout the day as well um, and with Estee Lauder Double Wear which is like solid mask stays on, does not shift. Um, so yeah, my skin is very, very oily. So that's all of that off now. Uh, so day two, these have all come up. And also on my lip. Now they're pretty set. Um, I'm going to continue with my current usual skincare until my skin feels um, much drier, which is Caroline's Double Cleanse from Pixie. And at the moment, I am using their Beauty Sleep Cream. Um, I find it quite calming, it's got lavender in it, uh, it's been doing alright for me um, and then in the daytime I have just been using this micellar water from Garnier because I just needed <laughs> something to just kind of swipe over my face and get rid of anything that may have happened overnight uh, and then this from The Ordinary which is Natural Moisturising Factors plus HA which is hyaluronic acid. I have also picked up an Origins um, Overnight Intensive Drink Mask which I was using as a moisturiser last time and I have picked up a Bio... not Bioderma, 
a homeoplasmine lip balm and a Uriage lip balm. Both of them are amazing. Uh, I had to get them online because they're not English, but um, I think Beauty Mart sells homeoplasmine now. Um, but they are definitely, definitely worth it. Um, if I could only recommend, I can't only recommend one. If I could only recommend one thing to, to have while I'm a Rakuten, it would be homeoplasmine. But I would love to recommend four things, and that is um, the Body Shop Exfoliator, the Homeoplasmine, the Uriage, and the Origins Overnight Intensive Mask. Day three. Day four. Day five. What I notice is the spots that I'm getting are kind of progressing quicker than they normally would. Like this one was huge yesterday and it's already gone down quite a bit. day seven and I was just realizing as I put my moisturizer on how many parts of my face hurt like there's so many things going on under my skin so many spots there waiting to come out I guess I don't actually feel like any different from the tablets I feel like probably my skin is worse than it was when it began but I could quite easily say that this would happen to my skin naturally without any kind of medication so I don't know if it's the medication pushing things along or if it just <coughs> excuse me would have happened anyway it's a little bit sore though day eight my nails have become really dry look at my nail varnish it's just kind of flaking off with my nails face is sore and lumpy lips are starting to get dry day 10 today I have to go for a blood test um, last time I did Brocotane I had to go for a blood test every single month but this time they said I just need to do one um, I had to do one at the very beginning of treatment and I have to do one more which is handy because it can be a bit of a pain day 11 and it actually feels a bit calmer today day 12 day 13 I've just noticed how dry my ear is. My scalp's been a bit flaky as well. Oh, <laughs> I hope it's not the start of that. Day 14. Day 15 today. When I woke up this morning, this was so sore and all of this was swollen it hurt so much it's flattened down a bit now but whew, that was sore um I also wanted to say that whenever I do this video and you see me I probably look quite shiny and moisturized and that is because I will have just had a shower or taken off my makeup or washed my face in the morning um so I will have just put on my moisturiser and I have actually, oh my god my arm's killing, <laughs> I have switched to using the Origins um, Intensive Drink Up Mask overnight as a moisturiser and also a little bit in the daytime as a moisturiser as um, Double Wear was actually starting to look like a mask which I love that moment when it turns from like Double Wear is the foundation that does not budge on anyone apart from me seemingly and I love that moment when I become more like a normal skinned person 
Um, so yeah, even with this mask on underneath it, it seems to last all day on me and perhaps it's still a little bit mask-like so I do need to go foundation shopping. Um, I have also switched to um, using the Pixi Double Cleanse twice a day um, because I feel like I just need something richer and I also need to be using the muslin cloth on my face because I need the exfoliation otherwise I think I would be getting really dry there have been some areas here where I can not even feel it but it's like at the end of the day sometimes I can see that it's a little bit scaly but um, in general it's okay and in other news I um, booked an appointment with the optician today because my eyes have been like one eye this eye has been really misting over and like I feel like I just need to rub it and I didn't link it to the Rakutane at all I had thought that it had started just before but evidently I have extremely dry eyes she put some dye in my eyes and she said that she could see scratches on my cornea that they were really really dry and that recently they'd done a lifestyle survey and apparently um, extreme dry eyes can is 10 out of 10 for can affect your lifestyle and I can see that because like I was really starting to worry because I could hardly see out of, out of my right eye um, but anyway she's given me these drops to use during the day as and when I need them and it already feels loads better in my eyes so I think you can get them most places Hikasan Extra um, you could, I just got them from Boots the Chemist and they were 10 99 not Boots the Chemist, Boots uh, Opticians they were 10 99 and then I had to get this Visco Tears from the pharmacy and this is like a um, Vaseline kind of gel that you have to put in overnight so I'll report back on that but hopefully um, that's going to make a bit of a difference. I'm just washing my hair and I've used Nizarel. Um, hopefully the flakes are not going to come. Day 16! This is really sore again. And this is really sore. Mm -mm -mm. Day 17. This has turned into a beast. It is killing me. Nothing really new to report. You can see like all of this stuff I feel has raised to the surface. I remember it doing it last time, like all my pores, seeing black bits on all my pores and then I guess it's pushing it out, ready to be closed off underneath. I can't wait for all of this to go. Day 18, the beast has multiplied. I'm like how flaky my head's got. Day 21, I haven't filmed for the last couple of days, I haven't felt very well, I felt generally a bit of a low mood and I was worried it was from the tablets but I think it was just because I was feeling ill because I feel it right now. Um, there's still stuff going on in my skin but I feel like there are slight improvements, um, I can't really explain it, <laughs> I just feel like my skin is a little bit more closed, polished, um, but there's clearly a lot of mess happening. Day 22, I take back what I said yesterday. I've got a whole new face shape, thanks to this one. Ow. Day 23. It's day 24. I'm not 
feeling like I'm coping too well, to be honest. My skin is so textured, lumpy and bumpy. These bits under here are like crisply dry. I know it's just the storm before the calm, but it's feeling like a hell of a storm right now. I was going to go out tonight for a friend's birthday and I cancelled because I just feel rubbish. Like it's just completely taken any bit of confidence away. Especially like these, no matter how much concealer foundation you put over the top, they shine through. This one, oh my god, today I was driving to get Starbucks and it was hurting and I just touched it and it started, I must have broken the seal and it was like a squishy spot. You know like how a baby sometimes on their, um, on their high chair has a thing and they compress it and it's like a toy that's filled with water and toys float around, it felt like that same as this one like it feels so squishy and then so I pressed the rest of it so much blood was pouring out I was driving I was didn't even squeeze it like a spot I literally just pressed the side of it because I could see that it had uh, there was a rip in it and the blood was all down my hand every, like it wouldn't stop bleeding I had tissues in the car I was trying to stop it from bleeding I had to pull over the car like the, my whole hand was covered in blood and um, I had to go into Star I had to I had my hair down and I had to go into Starbucks like I was, as I was walking there I was holding my hair like this like <sighs> Day 25. It's day 26 today. Skin's not really looking much better, but it's not got any worse. Um, I'm trying to see the silver lining because I know I've been quite ne negative and I have just washed my hair for the first time, well it's Sunday night now and the last time I washed it was Wednesday night and it didn't need a wash at any point up until today and you don't know how much of a time saver amazing thing that is because my hair used to be like that and then it needed to be done every other day so now this is great. It's day 27. I'm getting some new things on my jawline and my neck and they're itchy. This isn't looking too pleasant. I haven't squeezed this or anything. And same for this. I'm just letting them do their own thing but they don't seem to be doing anything attractive. <laughs> I have been to the dermatologist just now. Um, for my checkup, they're very happy with what's happening so far. Um, they've put me up to 40 milligrams, which is good. I will start that once I finish this course of 30 milligrams. I think I've got two days left. Um, the skin actually doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Apart from these big old things, it doesn't actually look too, too bad. Like the rest of my skin looks quite all right, even if I do say so myself. Um, it's definitely drier because my double wear is way too dry for me now. I've had to switch to Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation and I am using it um, over the top of the Origins Overnight Intensive Mask, which is just meant to be a mask, but I'm using it as a moisturiser. Um, and even that's got too dry now, so I've been mixing in some liquid highlighter just to give it a bit of glow. Um, when I don't need quite so much coverage, I will switch to something uh, a little more lightweight, but I've never <laughs> had skin like that, so I don't know, don't know where to go. Um, 
I would love to be able to use Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder actually. That's my goal, to get to that foundation. Oh, I forgot. I asked the dermatologist if I could be taking any supplements because I know that this medication is quite harsh and so I thought it would probably be quite good if I could take some vitamins. Um, and she said, yeah, it's fine, take whatever you like, but avoid vitamin E or A, I can't remember. But asked the pharmacist. And then when I went to the hospital pharmacy and collected my prescription, I asked the pharmacist about supplements and he said, take A, C and E. So I'm really confused now because one of those was definitely one she said not to take. Um, I have had a little look online before today, but... I just kept seeing conflicting advice really and I don't know where to go to get a definitive where to go to get a definitive answer. Um I'll update you if I find one. <laughs> I just remembered one more thing. Um my blood test results were all fine apart from my good cholesterol was a little low. So good fats like avocado, nuts, stuff like that. So I need to try and do something about that before next time. It was only slightly low, nothing worrying. And although they told me that I wouldn't need to have um, continual blood tests, I am going to have another blood test. And that's because I'm going up a dose, so they need to check that I can cope with it. But also I need blood tests because I am being scanned, checked for um, polycystic ovaries to see if that is the cause of my skin keep on coming back the way that it does after a course of Rakuten, seeing as this is now my third time. Um, I think that's it now. <laughs> Day 29. These are getting smaller. I really don't understand what happened here. One more day left of this dose. I'm quite excited about moving up. You can maybe see my lips are very tight. Like they're not chapped or flaky or anything yet. They're really tight. <laughs> So yesterday was the last day of 30 milligrams. When I uh, did my filming, my other half was asleep in bed in the room just behind me. So I didn't want to talk, but hopefully I gave you a good old look at what my skin was looking like. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's been quite a hard month, skin-wise. It has got quite bad, but I feel like it's starting to get better now. Um, I do wonder if it's going to get worse again now I start the 40 milligrams, but we'll see. I will continue to film every day, so if you would like to follow my progress there will be another video coming at the end of month two. Good luck to anybody else that is going through this process, I'm with you, I feel the pain. <laughs>